Hi, I'm Jade with Jaded Beauty, and today we're gonna show you how to do big Victoria's Secret bombshell hair. So lots of curls, lots of texture, and volume. So her hair is nice and clean, and we're gonna get started by making it dirty. And we have some dry shampoo that we're gonna spray at her roots. You don't wanna spray it too close to her roots because you don't want it to be white or wet. And you wanna spray the dry shampoo kind of all over because you want this to be really big. Then you wanna go through and backcomb at the roots. This doesn't need to be perfect right now. We're just trying to get it big. You can polish it later. See, I like to just take diagonal sections back. I don't like to go horizontal or vertical because I feel like it gives it a weird shape. And by the way, this is the back comb comb that I like to use. It's not just a comb, it just has boar bristles at different lengths. And now you want to section it off because you want to be as organized as possible. Even though it's a messy textured look, you still wanna be organized when creating it. So we have two big sections and I'm gonna start at the nape of her hair and we'll do some more dry shampoo and back combing. And when you're doing this underneath, you can back comb kind of all over the section. You don't need to worry about polishing the top. So you can kind of go crazy. This is a bubble iron. It's like a wand, but it just has the bubbles, which makes it awesome and then a one inch curling iron. This is a Hot Tools. We're gonna start by using the one inch Hot Tools curling iron. And I'm gonna do this bottom section in just three different sections back here. You wanna make sure you're using a thermal protectant because if you're not doing that, you are literally burning off the natural oils of your hair. So I like to use 7 seconds glossing spray because it doesn't make the hair wet. You can just spray it on there and use heat immediately and it gives it some shine. Okay, so take your section, hold it kind of tight and I like to go at a diagonal and I don't start at the very top. See how I have that area up there and then I leave some of the end out. Take your second section and wrap it around. What I like to do is open my curling iron, wrap it around just like you're using a wand, and then close the clamp. And you're still holding the end pretty tightly. Once again, I don't go up to the very top and I don't do the very ends. And we'll brush this out at the end. So just let those be, let them cool the way they are. And then same with the third. Wrap around, hold it tight, and leave on for about 15 seconds. So now we have our first section done and we're gonna spray it with a medium hold hairspray. You don't wanna go too strong because we wanna be able to run our fingers through it later. But you do wanna spray it a good amount but also far away because you don't want to get it wet. And I like to lift the hair up so you can get all angles. Okay, so she's good there. So we'll spray it again with the thermal protectant, just like we did last time. And this dry shampoo, it does have a little bit of a white powder to it, but I still like it a lot. So under here, you can kind of spray a lot more. You can see it's white, but no one's gonna see that when we're done. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to tease the roots again. We have like nice texture in there from the dry shampoo. Awesome. And then over here, I'm not gonna go crazy because this is against her hairline. So we can go crazy back here. Thank you. 
And maybe you don't have super thick hair like Alex does. And in that case, you can continue to tease down a little bit throughout the hair strand. You don't want to go crazy, just like a tiny little bit. And it'll make your hair just poof right up. Okay, next we're going to use the bubble iron, like we talked about earlier. This is also a hot tools iron. Um, like I said, it's literally just like a wand, but it has this bubble effect to it. You can wrap it within the bubbles if you'd like, and that'll give it more of like a polished, like perfect curl look to it. I kind of like to just go crazy. I don't like it to be super uniform, so that's what we'll do today. And also you want to make sure that you're going away from her face. So we'll just kind of wrap it however it wants to be. And same thing, we are not going to the root and we're not curling to the end. You can rotate it a little bit and then let it go. And this guy is up pretty high. It's up to about 420 degrees. But she's protected with heat protectant, so we don't have to worry. Okay, there we go. And then we are just going to continue doing this throughout this section. We'll do back, just like we were just doing, and then some pieces back here, we can start to take the iron forward. I just never want to go horizontal or vertical. And you want to still curl away from her face. Okay, so now you want to find your part wherever you want your section to fall. And she likes to part just a little bit off center. So we've teased this section right here. Um, and we're just going to start by curling away from her face. So you can see we take this section right here, wand, and I'm curling back and away and it's still at a diagonal. It's not horizontal or vertical. Always want to keep it at a diagonal. And I'm using like a lot of tension on her hair. Like, can you feel that? So now we are all totally curled. So we haven't really touched these curls, we've just sprayed them with hairspray. And now you can go through and just literally run your fingers through her hair, or your hair. <laughs> you can use a brush if you'd like. Um, I usually like to start with my fingers because sometimes they might come out a little bit more than you would prefer. And you can always take it out more with the brush. So you just want to kind of break up those curls. You don't want them to be like solid and stuck together. Give yourself a little head massage because you have all that dry shampoo and teasing in there. So it'll just amp right up. Ooh. And then at the end, I like to spray in a dry texture spray if you feel like you need more texture. It depends on the natural texture of your hair. But for her, we're going to spray in just a little bit more. And I just like to spray it pretty far away and like in short increments because you can definitely spray too much. And then you want to put some shine spray in there because after you put all that texture in there, it can be a little bit like dry looking. So a shine spray just kind of like softens it right up. And this shine spray is shimmering mist from Davines as well. I like to spray this at my roots like all the time. If you feel like you're looking a little bit dry up there. All right, there we go. We have our Victoria's Secret bombshell hair. Okay, so now you want to find your part wherever you want your section to fall. 
and she likes to part just a little bit off center. So we've teased this section right here um, and we're just gonna start by curling away from her face. So you can see we take this section right here, wand, and I'm curling back and away. 